This is not financial advice. There are a bunch of ways you can make money. You can earn it, find it, steal it, or you can invent it. In 2009, an anonymous person, or group of people, invented a new type of currency, a cryptocurrency called Bitcoin, and the technology it operates on, the Bitcoin blockchain. To understand Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, you need to first understand blockchain. Blockchain is an information storing and sharing technology that removes any central figure or entity from the process of trading things from person to person. We used to trade goods like apples in a transaction from one person to another at a real life market. Then, when we wanted to trade more apples and further away, institutions had to get in the middle, like governments to regulate the trade, banks to transfer and hold our money, and other middlemen who often got a cut of the profit and access to lots of our valuable information. Blockchain wants to bring it back to being person-to-person -person trading. Let's say you're selling a t-shirt on eBay. There is you, the seller, me, the buyer, and eBay in the middle, charging fees and getting lots of our data just for being the facilitator. eBay is the middleman here. Blockchain looks to remove that middleman so that no one is controlling or profiting from our trade. Blockchain technology exists because what we value as humans has changed. Where banks and governments stay secure by locking everyone out, blockchain stays secure by letting everyone in. This whole idea of removing the central figure is called decentralization. Just because your transactions aren't protected by a bank or a government doesn't mean they're not looked after by something. Blockchain is a public database, which means all the info stored on it is distributed across a ton of computers, and no one person can control or change the data. So whenever you make a trade, the transaction goes on the database or big public list. Then every transaction is verified by those computers and if they match, they are added to that list. If even one computer finds a reason that the transaction is invalid, it won't be added. And although the database is public, its contents are super private. This is where the cryptography or the use of codes comes in to convert the transactions into code, making them confidential. Let's say you buy an apple. That transaction won't appear on the list. Instead, you would see code in its place. This is why cryptocurrency is used a lot on the dark web. The transactions are coded so no one can see what you're buying. So in the same way that we trust a bank to look after our money or eBay to manage our trade, we are trusting software and code to do it instead, removing any central entity. Blockchain can store and transfer different types of data, health records, votes in an election, digital art, there's a lot. But the original blockchain, the Bitcoin blockchain, is only used to securely store and trace the path of Bitcoins as they are bought and sold. And as with other emerging technologies, blockchain has many downsides. There's the devastating environmental impact of using these super powerful computers, the potential of hacking, and how or whether this all gets taxed. But we'll explain that in the next episode.